So the equipment here supporting our whale location project, what we're doing is modifying sonar buoys to locate marine mammals and automatically identify them and send in a report. We start with the standard sonar buoy. These, this is made by a company called USSI Undersea Systems Incorporated. There are two companies that make these things. We take, we take it apart. This upper part here is a standard electronics out the buoy, the part in the clear section. We added a lower section to add in special electronics to actually listen to the sounds, do the detection, and generate the message. The rest of the equipment that you see here are two different types of buoys to actually put in the water and float there and listen for marine mammals. Our first buoy uh, is meant to stay out in the water 24 to 48 hours. It has the same electronics here in the center surrounded by the floats so that the electronics will be protected and so that no marine mammals will get trapped in there. And then at the bottom has a battery case. On top, a radar flag so that we can help find it, and strobe lights. Those are necessary both not only for location but for Coast Guard regulations so that boaters don't run into them. The yellow equipment here is the same principle as the others. You can see the electronics. And the electronics are the same. But this device is designed to stay in the water for up to a week. The battery is much larger and has its own float because in order to take up the weight. This weighs about 90 pounds. And then the electronics has a bigger float so that it can handle higher seas. But the principles again are the same. In each case, we're going to have a hydrophone assembly that's suspended below that's listening to the water to hear the animals. So the electronics listen to the hydrophones which will be in the water for sounds of marine mammals. When it hears the right marine mammal, it sends out a signal over its integrated radio which we'll then pick up on shore. It will also store all the data on the internal memory so that we can compare what the actual circuit in the water was doing to what a human observer would detect listening to the same sounds on hydrophones.